The shoulder is the most unstable joint because it's the only joint that goes 360 degrees. Okay, one, two, three, resist. If you have a clicking shoulder, your shoulder pops or clicks, you need to watch this video. If it doesn't hurt or if it hurts, you should still watch this video. So we have Jerry here whose shoulder clicks. He's a basketball player. Um, why don't you um, describe how it feels? Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt, but it clicks. Okay. I guess you can hear that. Mm -hmm. Let me stand behind you. Go ahead and do that again for me. Okay. It's not doing it now, right? Mm -hmm. And as soon as I let go, go, go ahead. Okay, so we're gonna go through some shoulder tests and just check the integrity of the joint itself. The shoulder is the most unstable joint because it's the only joint that goes 360 degrees and it's the um, only joint that has one little bone that connects it to, its, to the axial skeleton. So the shoulder is connected to the axial skeleton via the clavicle, one bone here. And I've talked about that before. I've done a bunch of videos on clavicle adjustments, sternoclavicular joint, AC joint. Um, this is gonna be something a little different. That's why I wanted to show you guys, if you have a shoulder that clicks or pops, that can be addressed. Um, even if it's not painful, it should be addressed. Because eventually, when you go to reach for something or do something, uh, that's when you're gonna have pain or you're gonna tear a rotator cuff muscle or injure yourself further. So we want to try to avoid that. So go ahead and lay here on your back, Jerry. Okay, so first I'm going to start here with your arms out. And this is a test for an anterior humerus, anterior shoulder joint, okay? Which is the most common way for the shoulder to subluxate. So on three, I'm going to push down. I want you to resist me. One, two, three, resist. Okay, weak on both sides, but we'll try that again. One, two, three, resist. Okay, and relax here. Did you have any pain or discomfort when I did that? This one clicked. This one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And now we're going to have you do this. Okay, and I'm going to push down. Resist me. One, two, three, resist. This one was a little weak. Any pain? No. Okay. And relax here. Make a fist like this. Yep. I'm going to push down. I want you to resist me. And one, two, three, resist. Any pain? This one. One, two, three, resist. Any pain? Okay. And now we're going to check the sternoclavicular joint and the pec major. So one, two, three, resist. Any pain or no. even a twinge? No? Okay. And one, two, three, resist. Good. Any pain? It clicked. Yeah, I heard that. I thought that was your elbow. Yeah, I think it was right there. Yeah. Well, let's try that again. One, two, three, resist. Any problems there? Maybe. Not really, a little bit of discomfort there? Yeah. Okay, let's try this first one before the uh, sternoclavicular joint. And one, two, three, resist. Any pain or discomfort? No? Okay. And let's try this one. So we're going through uh, all the different muscles in the shoulder joint, just testing it, testing the integrity of the joint. This tells me a lot about what's going on with the shoulder. And one, two, three, resist. Any pain? What the hell was one, two, elbow. three, resist. Any problems there? Okay, now his elbow is actually cracked when we muscle tested him there. We felt something move. So we're just gonna check his elbow now, okay? So I'm gonna open the arm up, resist me. One, two, three, resist. Any problems there? That was pretty strong. And we're gonna bring that hand back. Okay, can you bring it back further? Yeah, go more. One more. Ready? Or bring your hand back. Don't resist okay. me though. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna push the arm in. I want you to resist me. One, two, three, resist. 
Good. Any pain there? And one, two, three, resist. Any pain there? Good. So I'm just checking his ulnar and radial head in the, in the joint there, in the elbow joint. And this is a bicep test, so one, two, three, resist. No problems there. Okay. And one, two, three, resist. Any problems there? And one, two, three, resist. This one was a little bit weak. Let's try that again. One, two, yep. One, two, three, resist. A little bit. One, two, three, resist. Yeah, so his left elbow, something's going on with his left elbow and left shoulder. I'll show you what it is right now. So um, we're gonna go ahead and adjust his shoulder. So I'm gonna have you sit up, face the camera. Sit right here. And your shoulder just clicked right yeah. there. You felt it? Okay, yep. And your elbow. Okay, now go ahead and try to uh, click. Yeah, just this one. Okay. Lay down on your back. Tender in there. Mm -hmm. So you have a lacrosse ball at home, right? Yeah. Take your lacrosse ball, and I want you to take that lacrosse ball and roll it right in here and loosen this pec mu muscle up, okay? So Jerry here has an anterior humerus, his humerus bone or arm bone where the bicep is there, that arm bone shifted or subluxated forward, which is again the most common way for the shoulder to dislocate. This is not a dislocation though. Okay, and one, two, three, resist. Much better, one, two, three, resist. Okay, and now we're going to adjust your elbow here and just relax here. And now we're doing a adjustment for the ulnar head. Okay, and back, and one, two, three, resist. Much stronger, one, two, three, resist. Stronger, a little bit weak there. Um, one, two, three, resist. Okay, now take that arm there and just relax yourself here. Okay, sit up for me, face the wind, uh, the camera. Right, sit right here. Okay, and go ahead and try to. Uh, Okay, good, and just relax here. Stand up, face me. Okay, now I'm gonna have you lay on your side facing this wall. Yep. Okay, just relax yourself here. Stand up. Okay, now have a seat right there. Yeah. And go ahead and try, try that click and release again. Good. Go ahead. Good. Hold on a sec. Now turn it in. No. Just turn your elbow in and now do that same thing. Good. Okay. And relax, turn, stand up, face me.
All right, lay on your back. Display your clouds a little bit higher here now. Turn your face that way. Okay, sit up. And try the clicking again. That motion again with the elbow in. Not this one. So with basketball, he's reaching for rebounds and things like that. A lot of a lot of over the head stuff uh, with basketball. So we want to make sure that his shoulder, the integrity of the shoulder, is in its proper place, so he doesn't re-injure it or make it worse. Okay, just rest it there. Okay, play basketball. Should be fine. No problems there. Um, we'll see you next week. But uh, it's certainly uh, a little bit better. Except no, it, still a little bit on the outside here. So, all right, all right, good. All right, you're all set there. I'll see you next week. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome.